Hello, my name is James. I'm a business solutions advisor at Enable.Services. We are a CRM specialist based in Suffolk. And we've been working with CRM for over 20 years now. And uh, so we have multiple decades of experience across the team and across the industry as a whole. Uh, today, I'd like to give an overview on Espo CRM, which is a relatively new product to us. Uh, our relationship with Espo started around about a year ago when we partnered with them. The, the, the platform itself has been around for a very long time. It's a unique platform in, in that it's uh, an open source CRM. So uh, that gives us the ability to have a lot of control over the configuration, development, hosting, and ultimately the functionality of the system to make it fit to your individual needs as a business. So what we're going to do today is dive into some of the, the core features and functionality of Espo. We won't go into everything in huge amounts of detail because we'd be here for days, but we will like, cover some of the, the core functionality uh, and, and workflows within the system. Here we have uh, your your homepage or your dashboard within, within Espo. Now, this is a place kind of for you to start your day, I suppose, for when you come into the platform, this is what you'll see. You, you, you can configure this however you like. Uh, for example, I've got my calendar, a stream of information that shows what I've been assigned to, what kind of tasks I'm involved in, that kind of stuff. And I've got direct links to all of those things within the CRM that we can dive into uh, shortly. Uh, I've also got an activities tab here, so everything that I need to do today or this week or anything that's overdue. So this dashboard is, is kind of like I say, where you might start your day. We'll come back to this uh, when we start to speak about reporting um, and uh, and pipeline, et cetera, later on in the day. You've also got here uh, your global search bar. So here you can search for anything across the CRM, whether that be contacts, accounts, quotes, anything you might need. So for example, if we if we type in here, uh, Elon, uh, we can see here we've got a, a contact and inquiry and we can navigate straight to that record. If we dive back into the homepage, you can see here we've got multiple tabs and multiple dashboards that we can come into. You've got your notifications uh, and, and your, your profile page where you can dive into kind of administration, you can log out, all that kind of stuff. So nice and simple. You'll also see here on the left hand side, we've got what we call entities. Now, this is a very condensed version to give you more space for your dashboard. You can open this up to see what these are around or leave it here. So you've got your icons of your kind of most used ones. So if we dive into some of the functionality here of your kind of core entities within Espo, we've got the calendar view. So we can dive in. Obviously, I obviously don't have anything in my calendar. Uh, this is just a test system, but um, you've got you can have different views over month, week, timeline, um, all that kind of stuff. You can navigate, you can see your, your own calendar or other users within the system. So you might want to say, right, what's Nord up to today? Has he got any availability in his access? Uh, so let's jump in and see Nord's calendar. Now, the the general flow for Espo CRM in, in this scenario is a a sales CRM, it's a sales function. So we'll go right the way through from inquiry through to opportunity and and, and closing, uh, closing a quote. We'll start here on the inquiries page. So you come in here and this is might be your leads or inquiries. You've got the ability to rename this, but this is your standard kind of pre-sale of uh, someone that's inquired to the business, someone you're reaching out to, whoever it may be. So if we dive in here, for example, I've got myself, this has been created and uh, you've got a, a lot of different fields here so you can again this can be configured to to however you want it to be laid out within your system uh, we've got things like activities things to do history tasks associated we've also got a kind of a, a news feed or a stream associated uh, to this record and anything that might be related to it so documents have they raised any cases are they in any target list for marketing have they had any campaigns, etc.? Now, the the typical flow of um, a lead or an inquiry is um, is outlined at the top here, and we can click through this process to see what stage people are in. As we click through this, you'll see at the top it is saving the record. So, 
we can say this lead is in process, it's it's new. And then when we get to the point where we want to do business with this person, we can convert. So then they will become a, a contact or an account. They're someone we're actually actively working with. We have the potential to do business with. So we can click the little convert button up here and we can decide on what we want to convert this into. If you're if you're a B2C company, you might just want a, to convert them into a contact rather than an account and an opportunity. But if we go through the full flow, so you can see here, let's create an account. Okay, it's picked up some of the information. It knows we work for Enable. It's got my email address and it's got some other fields in there as well. What kind of... Um, what kind of contact are they? Are they a consultant? Are they a reseller? Are they a prospect? Are they an investor? All that kind of stuff. And again, these are these are all customizable, as you'll see um, throughout the system. Uh, then we can also create a contact. Again, it's pulled through some of that information, like my name and my email address and, uh, and that kind of stuff. We can also then create an opportunity. So this can be as simple as uh, sales. Uh, we might say, right, qualifications. So we haven't sent yet sent them a quote, but we, we have qualified them to the point of, of what we want to give them a quote. And we can give a rough estimate of what we think uh, that might be. You'll see here, again, we can have probability percentages associated to those stages. So if it's qualifying, it's 20%. Perception, 50%. Closed one, 100%. Closed lost, 0%. So if we drop back in here, an expected close date might be the end of the month. And you can also add in products here. So uh, for example, we've got a, a little product catalog and you might say, right, here, they're going to buy 100 towels from us. And uh, there's your, there's your £10,000. If we then convert that, you can see uh, that these records already exist within the system, so it's flagged up a duplicate, which is nice. But for this, uh, for the purpose of this demo, we will uh, click save straight through. So uh, there we go. We've we've converted uh, this inquiry, this lead, this individual, and we now have related uh, contacts, opportunities, and accounts. So we can dive into the contact from here. Say, right, okay, so this is James. This is the account he works for Enable. We dive into the account. From there, we can see everything about the account. Again, everything that's linked to it. We can see this opportunity. And because it's a relational database, we can, we can have these uh, related entities showing across the system. So whether you're in the accounts page, the contact page, the entity page, you can see the, the multiple related entities or records. So you don't have to keep flicking between them. You can see everything from, from one page. Most people tend to like to operate from an accounts page, for example. We can see, uh, again, we've got multiple different stages of that opportunity. So uh, qualification, perception analysis, proposal, quote, etc., And uh, that allows you to, to monitor that in terms of pipeline, what's the level of, of expected revenue, et cetera. And you'll see as I click through these, again, this probability stage down here is changing. And again, we can mark it as closed one there. So again, this will follow into the reporting and the capabilities around that, but just gives you an idea of what's possible within uh, within an opportunity. Again, you've got related entities here, uh, the items that you've uh, that you've been speaking to that person about. You can have multiple of these items. You can have multiple quotes, multiple documents. Um, you can say jump in here from the opportunities uh, entity and you might say, right, I want to create a quote. Well, it already knows the amount for the quote because uh, that's come from the opportunity and it, it's a case of filling in these uh, these other details. So, And that's just a very quick one. And then you're still within the opportunity here and you can see, right, this quote's been created. Great. Let's dive into there and, and we can see the quote in a little bit more detail in terms of the products, etc. So, uh, yeah, this is all up until this point, very much, I suppose, what you call standard functionality within a CRM, what you'd expect to see uh, and the relationships between the different entities or, or modules that you, you might know them as better. So what we can do now is is dive into so you see here where we set things like statuses and um the amounts uh, with regards to opportunities and quotes and, and all that kind of stuff but well, that feeds back into um 
what I said earlier around reporting functionality. So you'll see here, this is just my standard dashboard, but we've created uh, some reports and some dashlets that can come onto your dashboard as well. And you can have these either on a dashboard, or just as access to them um, through the system normally, but these can start to give you an, a, a top level overview, whether you be a director, an investor, board member, or just a member of the sales team and you want it, you're driven by that competition of who's doing better than me who's got more in the pipeline who's got more leads all that kind of stuff who's making more money um uh, so you can you can really start to see in a lot more depth a real glance what's happening within the crm uh, and that has use cases across the business whether you want to it's like i say game of gamify things for your sales team and uh, and make it a bit more fun whether as a manager you just want to be able to see what's going on day to day um whilst you try and kind of get on with your job as well so you can scroll down here like you see there is um there is multiple opportunities uh, to have build out different reports and, and you can start to get a real idea of what's happening across the business very quickly. These are, again, all drag and drop. You can make them bigger, you can move them around and you can configure these views uh, per individual. So not everyone has to have the same uh, same view or access to the same things um, across the CRM. And you can build these reports yourself uh, you can see here there's a, a report built and you can have some more detail. You can just see the overall graph. You can click into the graph to see what these include. So for example, if we come back to the homepage here, great, we've got, we've got 43 leads in process, but actually who are they? I want to dive in. I want to see these in a bit more detail, right? Here's a quick glance. I don't have to come off the page, but if I want to, I can also dive into Clint and, and see what's going on with him. Same with sales. Okay, so Sally's won £52,000 in sales. Is that one sale? No, it's three. Great. A bit more information on that. And again, we can dive into those all in a bit more detail as well. So we've got a lot of flexibility to navigate across the system all from one page and, um, and build those reports. Basically, if the information is in the CRM, you can report off it and, it and it really is as simple as that. A couple of other really nice features within Espo CRM is, is you can actually manage the, the entire process of a business. It's not just a, all right, let's do the sales pipeline and then hand it off to another system. You can see here we've got uh, things like invoices, sales orders, products. We can do... Um, we can manage the whole process from from start to finish where the the moment a lead comes in to the minute a product is is shipped out and delivered to the customer uh we then got uh here it's it's put down as complaints but this could be cases tickets support requests whatever it may be so you've really got the ability to go all the way through from that very very first sales process uh and cold the real cold outreach stuff um, right the way through to the customer service aspect, the post sales, the upsells, account management type um, responsibilities. So you can see here within the system, you can really cover it all. We do have uh, an integration directly with Outlook. So uh, you can have your emails within the CRM. You can email directly from CRM. So you never have to leave, uh, leave this one tab or this one page and flick between Outlook and CRM. You can do it all from here. You've got tasks, you've got marketing, so you can start to build out target lists and campaigns, start to segment your customers into um, uh, the kind of areas that you want to be marketing to as well. So as I say, you can really cover everything uh, across the business. As, uh, as an administrator within the system, so someone that's uh, responsible, responsible for the configuration, you can dive into this section so you can see here we've got extensions what's on offer things like uh, integrations with google outlook zoom um, project management so you can dive into things like gantt charts boards tasks and projects and um, you can start to build a picture of, of really what's available um, within within espo uh, this also gives you the ability to things like configure the, the user interface. So you can see here, we've got the enable.services logo. That can be your logo for your business. You might have um, multiple different uh, 
businesses so you can configure that logo however you like things like currencies you might not work in pounds you might work in euros you can set up currency rates and that kind of stuff configure the usage of users and roles what what restrictions do people have do you want everyone seeing everything would you rather that some people didn't have access to export all of your sales information um, or, or your reports and you can start to really um, like I say configure the system yourself the idea of this is that although we help you with the implementation and we are here as support uh, down the line. We want to empower you to be able to uh, configure the system yourself so you don't need to rely on us. Uh, we are here, but um, as much as this as you can tr control uh, yourselves, the better it is for you as a business just to have more, more control over uh, your platforms and, and your technology without being reliant on uh, an external source. One of the really, really nice features within Nespo is what we call workflows. You've got business process managers that lead into that as well. And this is the ability to effectively auto um, automate tasks within the CRM. So taking away some of that manual burden, which is a huge part of today's world, whether it be AI um, or, or automation. So things like we've built a couple of, uh, of ones here so um when an account is created you want uh, an email to be sent a welcome email to be sent to that person to say welcome to enable uh, you want that to come from the person that's assigned to the account so it might be the account manager the person that sold uh, to them to say it's a real personal message of yeah, welcome to enable. Uh, again, we can we can dive back into a couple more of it, examples of, of what's possible. So things like when an opportunity has been uh, the status of an opportunity has been marked as uh, proposal, then we would like a quote to be automatically created, uh, so that someone doesn't have to go and do that process manually. And and this is really limitless. Uh, you can you can create these automations uh, to send notifications internally, externally. Create tasks, take away, like I say, the administrative burden of having to create records within the CRM. Things like creating call records, tasks, all that kind of stuff. So that's a bit of a whistle stop tour of Espo CRM. There is much more functionality to um, to uncover and and to speak about. Hopefully, we'll have the opportunity to speak to you directly. Uh, if not, we will um, we'll certainly be going into those things in a little bit more detail over time. So to touch on some of the, the, the ability to have externally facing portals to show some of the information within the CRM to whether it be customers or suppliers, contractors, and, and you can start to expose uh, some of the notifications and uh, some of the information uh, directly to those to those people so uh, that's just one of the, the the other features that we haven't touched on but as i say we will uh, over time start to uh, have those conversations hopefully with you directly but if not i'm sure uh, you'll be seeing me again soon i hope it was useful and um, please do get in touch if you've got any questions